Companies like TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Book are fueling a mental health crisis by designing their platforms with addictive and dangerous features. We cannot stand by and let big tech monetize our children's privacy and jeopardize their mental health. With those words, New York City Mayor Eric Adams did what no other mayor in a major American city has done to date, declared social media an environmental toxin. The public health advisory urges parents to prevent their kids from getting on any smartphone or social media platform before the age of 14 and to be role models on proper use of the platforms. It also presses educators and school staff to put in place tech free times and places encouraging more in-person interaction. In addition, healthcare providers are asked to discuss social media with young patients, offering guidance and helping with family media plans. Adams is also asking lawmakers across the nation to take action through legislation. While the exact details on the teeth of the operation are yet to be announced, the mayor did liken it to another historic moment. We are the first major city in America to take this step and call out the danger of social media like this, just as the Surgeon General did with tobacco and guns. We're treating social media like other public health hazards, and it must stop. The mayor vowed social media companies will be held responsible. As to what that looks like, the answer is unclear. Mayor Adams promised more details are coming. Studies have shown increases in depression and suicide among adolescents, with many experts pointing to a rise in social media use as part of that crisis. A recent Pew Research poll found most teens report high usage of social media, with some reporting they use it almost constantly. The University of Utah Health says research shows young adults who use social media are three times more likely to suffer from depression. The information cites the CDC, which reports the number of suicides among 15 to 24 year olds rose 87 percent over the past 20 years. While the direct connection between the rise in suicides and use of social media platforms hasn't been confirmed, the information from the University of Utah does assert social media has negative consequences for our mental health.